National Family Week is the UK's biggest annual celebration of family life, aiming to highlight the importance of quality time together. For the second year, the Family Fund has supported National Families Week and brought together families helped by the Fund to have a fun-packed day and experience things they may not have done before. Like the Lee family, who have been helped by the Fund with a grant for a holiday before, but were the lucky winners of last year's top raffle prize at the Family Day a holiday donated by the hosts, Haven Holidays. Holidays are really important to us, spend time together as a family. As with work commitments and school, we don't get a chance to spend a lot of time together. For families with disabled children and young people, money is often tight. It costs three times as much to bring up a disabled child. And a grant from the Family Fund that enables them to have a holiday or provide them with such things like fridge freezers and washing machines, computers or driving lessons can make life so much easier and more enjoyable. The Fund is committed to making a difference to all families caring for a disabled child and distributes 91 pence in every pound it receives to families as grants. Working with organisations such as Haven allows the Family Fund to achieve the best outcome for many families and by negotiating hard we can make awards go further. Working with Family Fund is an ideal partnership. Commercially for Haven it's a fantastic opportunity However, the big main thing is that we, we can allow people to have more awards and more holidays. Um, it is a true partnership because one, from that we also get feedback which allows us to improve our services and allow us to accept more disabled people on site and give them facilities that they deserve. Liam and his family have had lots of help from the Fund over the years. He knows from his own experience the huge difference that the Family Fund can make to people's lives. Liam wanted to find out more about the Fund and the people behind it. So he went to speak to the chief executive, Derek Walpole, at the head office in New York. Derek, how many families...